into Fighting Spirit Mania. This is going to be the first set of, or the first game of set three between Zeke and DeWalt. Currently two sets in DeWalt's favor. Quick pause here and there. DeWalt starting the upper left-hand corner as the yellow Protoss bottom left-hand corner. You have Zeke starting as the Grazer. It looks like Zeke is going to get initial scout out with his Overlord. And it's been... So... There's two other casters, Revolution Veer and I Love OXT, that I believe are also casting Fighting Spirit Mania. Go ahead and check them out for other games out there. There were other games I thought about choosing. I think there was Striker versus Bonnet was in this round, I think. And I was tempted to go... I wanted to grab that one. However, uh, Veer beat me to it. But then I saw this one, and I'm like, are you kidding me? This is still open? So this has been an absolute pleasure to cast. These guys are incredible, especially watching DeWalt in the mid-game. It's been an absolute joy when he just has stuff happening absolutely everywhere. It looks like he's going to get first scout. Checking out his opponent in the bottom left-hand corner. Rather than going inter interior to see the Overlord, going to go ahead and send the probe all the way across. I think he wants to go for a forge opener, because usually you have a probe waiting nearby. Or usually when he's doing the gateway opener, he puts the pylon on the high ground for some reason. Maybe to keep that pylon protected. Spawning, but it is going to be a, a overpool opener. For Ziki. That was interesting. Probe going through, straight through the egg, getting tripped up right as it was morphing. I wonder if it's possible to get a probe kill that way. A little bit of a battle drone action. But DeWalt, Ziki can't be happy to see this early probe, because that just means there's going to be additional harassment interior to his base. And might even want to, so he, with his overfill build, you can see he's saving up. I think he's going to save Larva rather than go for the hatchery first, because that's what I would do against DeWalt. So yeah, Larva, Larva currently waiting. Drone still trying to do damage as best as possible. It looks like there is going to be a forge planted, but with this, I think you can go... And we've seen DeWalt get away with Nexus first. Multiple times. Six circlings being produced. Probe's still staying alive. Wants to see whether these are drones or zerglings as far as the initial build. Overlord hovering. Sees that cannon. Still might make a shot at running the natural expansion. But the hatchery also planting down. And it's got to be a relief for Ziki not seeing a gateway opener here because can easily take that third base rather than having to worry. So yeah, now making a run for it. Second cannon warping in. This cannon is going to be well in time. Probe's coming off the line to help defend. I think Ziki kind of just making a show of this. I don't think he's actually going for this cannon here. He just wants to make sure that, yeah, the probes are in fact pulled. Or maybe if he could get an edge and run to the base, sometimes he can go for that. Six o'clock base is up. The probe's still scouting. Extractor being grabbed. The Zerkling's coming back to the main. The Overlord is firmly planted just in case something else was going to sneak out. And we'll see where Zeke plays from here. I think he really wants to see if he can get that probe taken care of before he makes additional moves. Simulator for DeWalt. DeWalt transferring probes to the natural expansion to go ahead and get that saturated. The probes actually also... Did they, where do they go? Do they go to the main and then back down? The Zerglings almost able to get a surround. Low on health. The probe dies early. Oftentimes that can be just a straight trigger to go for a 973 attempt. This probe going to try to return to home base. And it looks like Zeke, yeah, realizing he was able to push that probe out and do a lot of damage. The Hydro then morphing. Seven X score warping into the natural expansion, but right now DeWalt is in the dark. And more Zerglings are running up and joining. Currently, we got this will be the ninth and tenth drone here. Additional drones planted here. No saturation at the 6 o'clock base as of yet. But I think this is going to be a 973-ish. Some early Hydra push. I'll try to get you guys the exact probe count. Or probe count, drone count. So 9. So we got 8. Actually, I should just do... Yeah, and 2. So it's a little bit faster version. Well, actually, no. So there's a third drone going... Additional drones saturated. We're moving out to the 6. Wondering what the decision behind this is, is to move the drones out 
to saturate here rather than staying at home base. Probe getting boxed out. It's going to have to go out to the north if it's going to get additional scouting information. Zealot there. Forge going for plus one weapons. Plus one air weapons also being upgraded. Stargate in the main. And this Stargate is going to be... I think the Walt is going to go for a Dark Templar follow-up with that second gas. This probe somehow sneaking through the gap. And this could be huge, especially if we can get to the six. The Hydras are starting to be produced. Right now, DeWalt has no information. Putting down three preventative cannons on the front. And Hydralisks are now being produced. Let's go ahead and take a good look. So yeah, we do we got the seven, we got the nine, we got the three. Four. Nine seven four. So a little bit more economic. Nine seven four version. Corsair moving out is not going to see anything, but DeWalt is putting down cannons just to be safe. Usually you want a fifth cannon here as well. But now the Hydro's moving up, taking a lot of free shots before range is there. So they're going to go ahead and back out and work on the gateway. A drone moving up. I think this might be a miss rally. And a fourth hatchery plopping down for Ziki. He did have the more, with that fourth drone at the sixth cross location, he has gone for the more economic route of this. Yeah, Miss Rally drone. Corsair's continuing to move out. Plus one weapons halfway through. And this is kind of the response I like to this again, which is maintaining air control, getting plus one weapons, taking down a lot of those overlords. And especially with the plus one weapons and sufficient Corsair, you can pick off that overlord on that front door, which allows Dark Templar to help defend that front. It just, I like the, yeah, I think it just, I don't know. I think it's good play versus Zerg. So one Overlord down. That's putting Ziki in the red. Second Overlord getting picked off. The Corsair have managed to take down the gateway. The Zealots marching out while Ziki is somewhat distracted. Ironically, maybe freeing up supply, which maybe is what he wanted. Another Hydra's getting picked off. But yeah, right now, Ziki is even going to get... He's not going to get that forward before plus one weapon finishes. I do not think. And the Corsair is coming back to home base with plenty of health and two Overlord kills under their belt. So the Vault in pretty firm position. And gets plus one weapons. And is going to get be able to get this Overlord. Yeah, so this is wonderful defense by DeWalt thus far. Ziki's contained Shattered, but he is transitioning back to get a bunch of hatcheries here. So he's moving back towards six hatch play. Six, ha six hatch Hydra, it looks like. Also attacking on the lair getting creep colonies and is now in a defensive position but keep in mind with that even with the hydralisks that are out here plus one weapons is very very strong and this is also opening up another overlord gonna get wiped out this is also opening up a lighter troop count because of how often ziki has been in the red which is going to make these zealots hit harder they do have plus one weapons they don't have the let zealot leg speed the gas went to plus one weapons for the Corsair instead. But right now, Ziki has no awareness and is just going to have to pump troops rather than drones to potentially defend out in the front. And with the Zealots marching in with a lighter Hydralist count, that's going to allow these Corsairs to get to work on all of these Overlords. More Overlords getting wiped out. Looks like it is going to be sufficient Hydralists to defend here, but they got to deal with the Zealots first. The Zealots look like they're going to be able to get some additional drone kills as well. Ziki's still in the red. Right now, DeWalt at 81 supply compared to Ziki's 46. Looks like a lot of drones were brought back to go ahead and resaturate. More Corsair is moving in, so looks like some of them finally getting taken out. But Ziki's been in the red for feels like the last two minutes of this entire game. And that's allowed DeWalt to just continue to press his army. He's got Zelt Lake Speed now. More Corsairs being built. A bunch of gateways being tacked on. And the Dark Templar. Corsairs fanning out just to make sure. Those Dark Templars are certainly going to provide a lot of map control. However, there is going to be a transition here as Overlord Speed is being upgraded. Zealots marching out. Dark Templar coming alongside. 
Ziki has no idea where they're going to attack from. He's got what looks like maybe not even a full control group. He's got 10 Hydralisks, but more some Lurkers morphing. This might be the saving grace because these Lurkers able to block the gap. Because one thing with this build is it does delay the robotics facility. Dark Templar working on that Lurker egg. The Lurker morphs but dies instantaneously, but its life was not spent in vain. Bought some time. More units now flooding out. Gonna go ahead and pincer this attack force in. The Corsair is still working on those overloads overhead. More Lurkers morphing. And with the reinforcement, Ziki able to, yeah, pick off a couple of additional troops, so DeWalt's gonna have to back off. DeWalt should go ahead and grab his third. Behind this, he's got a second forge, so I believe he's gonna hold somehow a Lurker able to get out here. Robotics facility being planted halfway. But uh, DeWalt, actually kind of a fast transition, a quick transition with this Lurker out in the field. And potential troops that might have been able to sneak out there. I don't know that DeWalt's going to be able to grab that third base, and that's going to allow Ziki with a lot of the Hydralisks and that speed upgrade and I think plus one weapons is online to go ahead and start macroing up behind this. He's now even. A rapid shift in fortune here. Queen's Nest planting down. Evolution Chamber planting down. Forge on the front has been taken out, so that's so I take it back. It is just going to be a single forge now in the background, which is going to keep the uh, supply count somewhat even between the two. Cannon opening up the front for DeWalt. But Hydralisk is marching forward. The Corsairs looking to... This almost reminds me... Corsairs almost remind me of Mutalisks, except they're hunting for the Dark Templar. Diki might be out of position to defend this. The Zealots screening in from that 9 o'clock location with the Dark Templar. The Corsairs looking to get more Overlord kills. This is going to force a lot of those reinforcements back. But Diki reacting very rapidly. Loses more Overlords. But it's going to be able to take out that ground force. And, yeah, DeWalt needs to hurry up with this. So the attack force didn't get... So got two, three overlords. That's going to slow Ziki down a little bit. Oof, these four overlords. Are the Corsairs going to get picked off here? It looks like, yeah, they're going to have to back off there. But Ziki following us up, running to move forward. DeWalt realizing the potential of maybe getting contained, moving out immediately as soon as... He, wow, the Observer coming out very rapidly. And Psy storming and bullying his way forward. Ziki very riskily morphing a lot of lurkers on the front. An eight count to go ahead and try to go for a soft contain. DeWalt is going to wander out as these lurkers are being morphed. This is enough Dragoons to go ahead and punch through that army. Yeah, cancellation right there. Hydro's trying to punch through. And actually, as they demorph, ooh, eating some size from there. They do pretty well against Dragoons. The Dragoons do have that plus one armor. High Templar not getting picked off. Are they getting picked off? No. And Ziki not really doing his usual focus fire with that army. Perhaps focused on a macro cycle behind this. Morphing Lurkers to go ahead and defend. DeWalt now grabbing that 9 o'clock location, expanding into Ziki. Has a sizable army, still has a supply count lead, has observers... And still a sizable enough count where I think he can still bully Ziki around quite a bit. Ziki doesn't really have the spread to sneak around and pick off the High Templar. Lurkers waiting on the bridge. The Observer a little bit forward. I'm wondering if Ziki's going to go for a pickoff. Looks like he's able to get a High Templar right there before it was able to expend additional Size Storm. But there's still another High Templar with Size Storm in the background. And that is going to split off forces from the 6 o'clock base. So Ziki needs to spend more gas to go ahead and more Flurkers there to defend. DeWalt up 40 supply. The Corsair is still waiting to go potentially do some counter harass if they get an opportunity to do so. But right now, Ziki somehow sneaking. Where did he get these units? Snuck them along the left-hand aisle and able to deny that 9 o'clock base. So DeWalt taking a later third than he wanted. He wanted to have this third online now. He's now marching in to go ahead and wipe those Hydralisks out. Looks like they're going to go ahead and retreat back to the natural expansion. But that little assault force really 
valuable. And Ziki, did I miss the double evolution chamber? Yeah, double evolution chamber dropping some additional hatcheries does have Hive up. Is getting the adrenal upgrade. Plus two weapons, plus one carapace versus plus two weapons, plus one armor. So upgrades around even. Ziki in the red again as it looks like some more Corsairs were able, I missed it, I think diving here at the six o'clock before getting wiped out. Ziki trying to take this base in the bottom right. DeWalt trying to establish his third. The Observer not with these Zealots, and DeWalt uncharacteristically losing... has some units a little bit out of control. Without cohesion, the Hydro's trying, taking their shots and trying to bait these Zealots back. At the 12 o'clock, the Nexus is morphing in. Ziki going to go ahead and move his army again along that left-hand lane. But while that's happening, he doesn't have eyes on DeWalt's army starting to pressure the 6 o'clock location. Some lurkers morphing there. There is a decent Sim City. Sorry, the Corsairs were still, were still active. But upon seeing those units coming around that wing, DeWalt backing off, he didn't... And I think that's respect to Ziki's army control. He didn't want to get this army pincered in surrounded. But right now, Ziki's way behind in the overall supply count. And most of that is in army. So DeWalt, if he can find room, he can punch through on some front. The question is, is where? He's getting his third base up and running. I think he wants to go ahead and potentially take that upper right-hand corner as well. Marching to the bottom right, that's going to be a lot of lurkers, a lot of lings, and a hatchery taken out. Ziki now reinforcing, kind of careening down, wants a stream. You can see the stream of gray. I think he wants to back right back up, though, and get this army to be more cohesive. A nice side storm drop. Kind of walking to that side storm. Another side storm to clean up the Zerglings. Critical because they do have that adrenal upgrade. They chew through Dragoons so rapidly. You can see even the few that get on the front, they just are able to take Dragoons out before they're really cleared up. Lurker is planted behind this. The Hydralists now marching forward. They want to save this hatchery. And Ziki somehow defending this bottom right-hand base. More Zerglings streaming across the map. They're managing to get on top of this. DeWalt looks like he might want to try to pull out, but he's diving back in. Hydro is being produced on the front. More reinforcements are streaming across. Lurkers planting. Drones are being transferred early by Ziki. He just assumes he's going to be able to hold this. Lurkers easily getting wiped out. And I think Ziki getting a little bit overconfident. Yeah, now the drone's going to have to cycle back. I don't think he's going to save this hatchery. More reinforcements marching up. That hatchery just sliver away, now wiped out. And Walt's taking his fourth in the upper right-hand corner. A big swing in momentum. Feels very back and forth, but it just feels like consistently Zeke's been on the back foot. The Zerglings charging in. Want to wipe out what's left of this army. Might be able to do th so with the Adrenal Upgrade, but keep in mind with that plus one army, that plus one armor, they are killed rather rapidly. Defiler Mound to get some potential swarm out. Ziki does need to start worrying about taking out some DeWalt bases and securing some additional of his own now. Army count has mit mitigated, though, a little bit. It's been closer. Ziki flooding out more Zerglings, trying to chase down these Dragoons. Zealots are marching up with some High Templar to reinforce. Sidestorm catching a little bit of an Observer. Nice dodging out of his own storm on DeWalt's part to keep those Observers in place. A Dark Templar going to go ahead and camp that bottom right-hand corner to make sure additional bases can't be snuck there. And the Corsair is also keeping a watchful eye over that 9 o'clock base. An Overlord, it's Natural Prey nearby. Several Overlords nearby. So DeWalt now, mind out of his main, mind out of his natural expansion, but does, does have two additional bases up and running. And he can go ahead and secure that upper right-hand corner. Ziki down to three bases. Yeah, that Overlord finally getting wiped out. Trying to grab this base again. An Overlord is nearby to go ahead and take care of that Dark Templar. Ziki flooding out with some Zerglings. I don't know that he's going to have enough to either counteract the additional bases that DeWalt's taking or hold if DeWalt opts to counterattack. So he's trying to think mostly to try to keep DeWalt off balance. Was able to take out a few units there. But yeah, so I think his plan right now is just be everywhere on the map, keep the Waldorf balance, and hope for the best. More cor these Corsairs have been absolute heroes all game long. Plus one shield again. Plus three weapons, plus one shield, plus one armor. 
for level 2 armor. They're going to go ahead and peek in. And right now, all DeWalt has to do is, is yeah, hold. Might even want to just wait for that hatchery to finish and then dive in. Ziggy trying to, yeah, make sure that this is clear. Wisely so. That Dark Temple are finally getting wiped out. More kills. How many kills have these? I wish I had, like, a raw count. So right there, 3-2-2 two, two for the what's left of that Corsair fleet. I feel like they've taken out way more than that. Aspire being morphed. Ziki looking very thin on resources here. Just trickling in. Sidestorm leading the way to soften up these lurkers. DeWalt threatening. I don't even know that he wants to dive in right here. He might just go for... just turn around. He already has the Zelt in position to engage Zerglings coming from the left. And Archon morphed as well to deal with potential Dark Swarm, which isn't here. Units clumped, eating some Sidestorm, and DeWalt, yeah, just threatening, forcing some units to be built, and backing right back out. Nice stutter step, just walking back, letting the Zelts take care, uh, take care of the Zerglings before re-engaging. Good unit control. It looks like Ziki has managed to get this bottom right hand base up. Let's see if he can get it mining. His main now mined out. The Spire will come online. And DeWalt grabbing what will be a third binding base, but his, first, his fifth base overall in the upper right-hand corner. Both players regrouping. DeWalt with firm map control. Ziki very much on the defense. You can see with the Zerglings and the Lurker is just wanting to be able to hold that fourth base. Drones transforming. Taking the long way around and might run into... Well, let's see if they're going to run into attack forces as they come across... Just barely DeWalt missing that drone transfer. Some Zerglings running out just to try to find out where that army is. Back in the main. Six, seven additional gateways. So we got, what is that? Eight, nine? Nine gateways behind this. Plague being dropped. Some of these Dragoons. Soften them up. High Temple with a lot of storm in there. So this is a very aggressive army. And a pylon and a Dark Templar walking into the 9 o'clock. So DeWalt, not just splitting the map, he's saying, like, I'm just going to relegate you to the bottom, to the southern sector. Plague actually catching a little bit of a Zergling this time. DeWalt dropping some Swarm to help with the Lurkers. That's going to force Psystorm to be utilized to punch through them. More... Dark Swarm dropped. Lurker is continuing to march just to kind of press, but I think DeWalt's happy to just kind of poke at this, drop Psystorm, Storm, force Ziki to expend some minerals, while he basically takes the rest of the map. As long as he denies 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and continues to get favorable exchanges with Psy Storms over the, this bridge corner. Nice play. <laughs> He'll be fine. Currently up 40 supply. Well, up 30 supply. Dwelt using Defiler and Lurkers to try to defend. Some Zerglings snuck through that corner, but running into Sidestorm. And yeah, you can see, look at these cannons. Yeah, Dwelt knows it. It's like, I'm just going to cannon up everything and just keep an eye on that 9 and 3. And it looks like he's going to go ahead and take that 9 o'clock location. So this is going to turn into a long, potentially a long-running starvation match. Dwelt with a sizable lead. 10 gateways. I want to rectify my count here. We'll do the full count. So that's five, four, ten. It's full count all together. Double forward whirling. Plus three weapons, plus two armor, plus shields. Looks like the Zerglings were able to at least find a space and push through. The CD wants to take this nine o'clock. I kind of like that he's cycling back to go ahead and grab this now. Because it is away from... Because DeWalt needs to worry about defending upper right. He's worrying about assaulting the bottom. So basically, he's concerned about the right-hand side of the map. So expand away from all of that action. Plague being dropped behind all of this. Some more Psystorm as well. Zerglings, however, flooding through. But this is a lot of Zealots that are very highly upgraded behind us. Looks like a lot of High Templar were wiped out. That is going to make this attack force a little bit less threatening. And ooh, some drones, unfortunately. Poor drones. Getting caught mid-map. DeWalt regrouping. Starting to migrate towards the middle. And drone transfer again. 
in the middle. It looks like Zeke going to potentially lose a grouping of them as they move to the nine. And I don't know that Zeke can hold this nine o'clock as this army is resurfacing. Well, plaguing a couple Zelts right there to soften them up. I think Zeke wants to try to move out a handful of Zerglings and a Defiler to potentially threaten additional bases. DeWalt now grabbing that 9 o'clock, or sorry, 3 o'clock base. Does have a shuttle with some High Templar to get some drops. Do what he can to slow Zeke's economy down. He's already ahead. Ooh, Scourge running, but not before that's dropped in a beautiful size storm. Archon is not long for life, though. Poor Archon. The Flaming Embrace. Not gonna happen. Uh, decent size storms over the edge. Looking for things to comment on. Nine o'clock base up and running for Ziki. Mind out of his main. Mind out of his natural expansion. Six o'clock base is mined out. So he's mining basically on two bases. Another drop. Sorry, three bases. A few empty side storms here and there. As Zeke doing a pretty good job spreading, and there's just chaos everywhere. That Scourge. Oh, still able to land on some drones. Zeke down to 38 now. Battle drones. Did they get the kill? They did not get the kill. And this High Templar just sitting here. Does Zeke see it? Doesn't look like it. Looks like that shuttle was able to get back out as well. So that, okay, so that High Templar should be taken care of. So, sorry, let's regroup here. 9 o'clock, or sorry, 3 o'clock base. And everything in the upper right and the north. So we got four base Protoss versus three base Zerg. Protoss lead plus constant drops and a supply lead. Looks like that shuttle was able to get picked off. In Ziki's favor, he's at least alive. Dewalt hasn't just opted to run him over currently. Dewalt now saturating that three o'clock location. Upgrade advantage looks like... One tack of a shield to be fully upgraded here. Level 3 carapace. Level 3 spines. No ultralist cavern. We do have a spire, defiler mound, everything else though. Carapace is upgrading. Level 3 carapace will be here shortly. So it's going to be late game army versus late game army. Thus far, DeWalt with the advantage. And these Corsair have been alive all game long. Looking to pick off maybe even more overlords. Zeke grouping up with some Defilers and these Zerglings. Keep in mind, they can peel through infrastructure very, very rapidly. Overlords, as they're transferring here, being caught. DeWalt might lose. Not even going to lose that High Templar. Loses the High Templar. Eats a Plague, but able to disrupt what I think Zeke was going to go for a sneaky counterattack. Or try to go for a sneaky counterattack. And while that's all happening, there was another attempt to drop. Sorry, there was a drop. Wiped out. That natural expansion, Ziki again down to just 39 drones. Looks like he's now loading up overlords. So opting to go for a drop in the main. Maybe the way to get back in this. Sending out a distractionary attack to Walt, engaging that with Psy Storm. Plague being dropped everywhere there. So I think he's hoping while the Walt's focus is in the right hand corner here. You can go for a drop and maybe take out some of these gateways in the main. But there is an Archon, a Dark Archon, right there to engage this. Might be able to even drop a Maelstrom on these Overlords. So he realizes this is happening. The Zergling's now dropping. A Psystrom expended a bit in panic there. More Psystrom drop to try to protect these gateways. But you can see how quickly they chew through this infrastructure. Reinforcements coming in to try to defend it. Going off the Robo, the, actually, this might be critical because there was the Scarab damage upgrade surfacing. Looks like this is going to get cleaned up. The Corsair is going to back off from the bottom right corner. Do they get the Robo, though? It looks like they do manage to get the Robotics facility. That's going to delay Reavers in that upper right-hand corner, also the 3 o'clock. And also going to make them punch a little bit less hard. More Zerglings now streaming across the map. Zeke saying, okay, I've distracted you there. Let me try to get to another corner of the map and try to wipe out this softened up 3 o'clock base with your units out of position. Beautiful side storms drop to the low ground. Dark Swarm to try to get those Zerglings in. The Lurkers have been taken out in between. Zeke now going to... He has the Dark Swarm. The Lurkers starting to march up. 
Zealots coming from the north to try to reinforce and defend this, but the Zerglings are already there. Is there another swarm to, the Zerglings to march in to go ahead and cap this? Because that's going to be a base down for DeWalt. DeWalt's just walking up with the High Templar to try to drop a storm. That's not happening. The Nexus is still there. It looks like the probes have already evacuated here at the 3 o'clock. Ziki regrouping. That's the power of Dark Swarm and Adrenal Upgraded Zerglings. It looks like the Nexus isn't going to get wiped out, though. But while he was repositioning to the 9 o'clock, it looks like he wants to take shots here. There are two Reavers. You can see what a difference the Reavers make. But while all this was happening, the Corsairs somewhere are taking out Overlords. Maybe in the main? Looks like at the main, potentially. Because Ziki is again in the red when he wanted to do follow-up attacks. He's going to give DeWalt time to go ahead and replenish that army. Wow, that's a lot of High Templar. That's nearly a full control group of Psy Storm. Ziki still trying to punch through this 3 o'clock. Able to take out an Observer overhead, but he doesn't have any Lurkers. More cannons being morphed in behind this. Ziki desperately trying to take the middle of the map. And just hope it doesn't get scouted to try to stay economically solvent. Dewalt still holding. Drops at the 9 o'clock location. Looks like the shuttle was taken out, but not before a large amount of drones were obliterated. Orkon might even morph this time. The Zerglings look like they're finally going to be able to take out... What's at this 3 o'clock? A, a battle drone in the midst of it as well. Although, I didn't realize this. Spine upgrades don't uh, surface over for poor, poor drones. They never get the attack upgrade. That's unfortunate. So Nexus is going to get wiped out. These two Reavers still holding with these cannons in the upper right-hand corner. And there are all sorts of Reavers, potentially more Psy Storm, to clean this up. But there is Dark Swarm here that's negating a lot of that cannon. And the Zergling somehow able to punch through. Reinforcements making their way. The probes now flooding the upper right. And all of a sudden, DeWalt, despite being up a lot of supply, dropping attacks here and there and really stymieing Ziki for a lot of the match despite Ziki being behind in supply overall right now. Dewalt losing bases. An Arbiter now joining the fray. But yeah, so Dewalt losing a base in the upper right -hand corner. He's now basically mining at one base and all of a sudden Ziki, if he can hold all of his bases, he's going to be in a strong economic position. But... DeWalt near 200 supply. And we you saw those High Templar a minute ago. Ziki needs to macro up very, very rapidly and hold. And I don't think he's definitely not going to be, be able to hold this middle of the map. Dark Templar dropping once again. Sidestorm whipping. I will admit, I'm wondering if this is a uh, broken replay with the way things are playing out. Another side storm dropping over the natural. Just a flood of units across the middle. DeWalt still has the supply lead. Going to chase down another drone transfer across the middle. So Ziki able to re-grab that three. DeWalt just going to manage to stasis the drones. Hold them in place to go ahead and kill them later. Another Zergling Flood in the upper right-hand corner. Might be a broken replay, but I'm going to continue casting it as though it's not. We'll see the GG at the end either way. So usually you don't see a drone stasis. That's all right. And it's possible... No, I think this was legitimate. This was legitimate. Keeping all those drones in place to, to do this action here. Counterattack moving up, finally, for DeWalt to wipe out that 3 o'clock and potentially retake it. Four drones. Ziki once again down to just 37 drones. Walt starting to finally bully around, trying to engage that Arbiter. The Arbiter still stands. Nothing left to defend this 3 o'clock base. So able to march in and wipe this out. army going to go ahead and cut off reinforcement. So Ziki losing a base at the three, loses the middle. 
is trying to counterattack, is able to force a cancellation in that upper right hand base. Officially mined out at the one o'clock, so needs to hold the upper right hand corner of this map. Potentially hold the three and grab it. And potentially wipe out these two bases. He's done a great job of keeping that drone count low this entire time. Still near max supply versus Zeke's 108. Still gonna say he's in firm control of this match. Zeke's mostly just done attacks all over the place to keep him off balance. Cystorm engaging some lurkers, reinforcing. The army barreling and the observer now there to quickly wipe out those lurkers. Zerglings going to go ahead and push through to at least delay a take, but now DeWalt finding the space and time to move in to this bottom right hand corner. Psy storming everything. That base is wiped out. I don't think he's going to be able to save this bottom right hand corner. And I think finally DeWalt putting that last nail in the coffin. Zeke streaming through his Zerglings. He's going to catch some Dragoons out of position. There is an Archon to assist, but it's not long for life. Also, a Dark Templar there, but it looks like it's scouted. DeWalt needs to attack now. Go, move. There he goes. Side storming that entire drone line. That should be GG. Plenty of Sidestorm to hold this upper right. That Nexus might get wiped out. Zeke's still flooding through with a lot of Zerglings. Found that the 9 but he's only mining on one base. So he's mining at the 9 o'clock. DeWalt's taking everything else. He should, DeWalt should be mining at two bases shortly. The Dark Terraflower Cannon defense is stalwart. Long-standing, uh, it works. Zeke piling into a desperation through, uh, base to try to hold this third. Lurker is morphing, wants to hold the high ground somehow with this. A probe wandering in is going to see it. So army's going to clash once again. Scourge trying to find the observer, not able to wipe it out. Overlord getting killed instead. And Psystorm up the ramp. The observer coming in along the southern edge. And Psystorm really softening that army up. Reinforcements coming across, but Archon's able to engage. And Zeke, I don't... Yeah, he's not going to be able to hold. And so after this last ditch, I think this is a desperation hold. Well, the Lurker's doing pretty good work here. The Zerg is trying to feel up, but... Uh, Zeke, you can see, he's just plummeted. Even if he gets his base up, he can't transfer drones to it to get mining. Looks like he's... And more army is going to march in across to go ahead and go for a counterattack. Well, not a counterattack, a full-on attack from both directions. More size storm. That's wiped out. Zeke's base completely breached now. Repivoting wants to go for the counterattack. But there's already High Templar and several cannons that are waiting. There's GG. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Zeke falls in the first match. DeWalt up 1-0. Thanks for listening.